Hey, what's up? My name is Lee. Welcome to another exciting After Effects tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to sync up audio music and After Effects to your video clips. Alright, so the first thing you want to do is drop your music track down into your timeline. And if you press L, that'll bring up your audio levels and your waveform. Then you can just drag that down and here's your audio track with all of your your ups and downs and, and all of your hits and everything so you can see them visually but we need to mark those so it's easier to actually sync up the video clips later on so so what we're gonna do is ram preview this and as it's playing back you are gonna press the asterisk key which is on the uh, numeric keypad every time that you it hits a beat that you want where it could possibly sync up you just hit that button Alright, so as you can see, every time that I hit the uh, little asterisk key, it made a marker. And each of these markers, they should line up with the beat that I marked it on. Here towards the end, what I did is I marked it on the snares, so it's kind of on, on like an upbeat. So let's go ahead and sync this up to the video. I'm going to hit the I button so you can see the video track that I have on here. And usually the first one, what I'll do is slide it left and right, the track left and right on the spot that I want the first hit to, to mark and once you get kinda close just if you make it so right when the scope comes out that's usually a good pretty uh, pretty good visual sync and what you want to do is you're gonna select layer time enable time remapping and it's already keyframed for one in the beginning and, and one towards the end so this is the spot we want it to stay at we're going to select a keyframe there then we're going to go down just a little bit until basically that shot is done we're going to set another keyframe so what this is telling us is from here to here it's going to play at normal speed now we're going to scroll through here a little bit and here's where I want the next um, sniper shot to, to line up so I set a, a marker up here to line up with the audio marker down here and we're just going to scroll through until we find the next shot once you get kind of close use your page up and page down set another keyframe and now what this does is it marks this spot right here so whenever I move this keyframe that se section of the video gets moved and all of this part right here it gets compressed so it'll speed actually speed up and if you move it to the right past the the original marker it actually slows down all the the, the time in between there alright so we got this one synced up and that's why I set this little keyframe over here because we're actually speeding up this portion right here in between if I didn't set that keyframe it would speed up all of this so he'd actually take a shot and it would sh you'd be so fast you wouldn't even be able to tell that I was actually taking a shot so I like to give it that little buffer zone right there just so it plays at normal speed again we'll set another one now let's go up to this keyframe right here set a visual marker there and this one's already gonna be pretty close so I'm just gonna page down until I get the part where it comes out of the scope and I set a keyframe there and then drag it over just a little bit until it's in line with the audio and again you just Set a little buffer zone for a normal speed. And then we'll 
go on to the next one. We'll say right about there. That way we have a pretty good even distance in between each of these shots and it, the video will flow better when you do that. Alright again just set a keyframe, drag it over, hold shift to make it snap to the spot that I want it to, and we'll just ram preview this and see how well it's synced up. Alright, that's pretty much it guys. Use your um, asterisk key to set audio markers. Enable your time remapping under layer controls. Set your keyframes on the spots that you want. The shots to line up with the audio and uh, just give it a buffer zone of normal speed there so you don't actually speed that part up. The only part that's, part that's going to be sped up is between here and here. These two keyframes. And then here and there. So uh, let's see. I'm going to be working on another uh, actual regular video for you guys here pretty soon, but got a couple more tutorials on the way. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.